What is going on, a beautiful people, and welcome back to uh, the channel. We are continuing our quest with getting this Subaru Forester engine done and back in the car. Well, not back in the car, uh, not on this video. We gotta still put it all back together. But good news is, is that we do have the, uh, what do you wanna call it? The heads back from the machine shop. They look really, really, really good. And all the sensors and such are put back on it new gaskets and all that jazz so very very excited about that so yeah all the uh the valve covers the valve covers i cleaned up as much as i could and uh well, you can't you can barely even see them but uh <laughs> cleaned them up as much as i could but we do have the engine sitting over here it's been over here for probably about a week week and a half now or so since the machine shop uh had the engine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the surfaces just a little bit here with uh, some, uh, I don't know, brake clean and such and a, uh, a towel. Get everything off as much as I can. Everything here is for the engine. So I have new head studs, which is good. Uh, I do have all new, all new gaskets here for the most part. They're all there except for the gaskets I use for that. So that's good. And then I have all of the, let me open this thing up. And then I have all of the timing belt such and such. So uh, new timing belt, new uh, pulleys, gears, everything like that. I think the only thing we will not be touching in this engine bay is a new water pump. I don't think that there's anything wrong with this water pump. So uh, we're gonna continue with that. One thing I will suggest, and I probably will go out and get it later on, is a new thermostat. So. Since that thermostat was burnt all the way up, we will put a new thermostat in that along with new oil, new oil filter, and what else does, does it need? Uh, and new spark plugs. Oh my goodness, look at, look at these spark plugs. Like, I, I, I don't think I said anything when I took them out, but like these things are just, they're horrible. They're horrible. So it looks like they were like welded, it, it, it felt like they were welded in there. So. But yeah, I'm gonna replace those as well. But when, whenever we get to that spot, right now we are not at that spot. So uh, I'm gonna set my camera up. I'm gonna clean the engine bay or engine as much as I can. I cleaned the engine bay uh, down where I could uh, with a, a like three three cans of brake clean. But uh, it is way better. So it, it's pretty funny. Everybody that comes to me with a uh, a, a leaking issue. Uh, I can't really do anything. Well, I can do something about it, but it's just way out of my wheelhouse. Uh, it is the power steering lines. It is ne like rarely ever is it actual oil that's dripping unless it's like coming from the sides of the valve, uh, the valve covers. But most of the time it is actually power steering fluid that's actually dripping down the back of the engine because that's where the power steering lines are. But anyway, uh, I can't really do anything about that. Uh, I'm just gonna clean it up, everything up and just call it a day. It is what it is. But let me set the camera up and let's get rocking. Ladies and gentlemen, folk, I have no idea why my camera just suddenly turned off. I have no idea. It must have been uh, 15 minutes or something like that that uh, it, it was actually going. But it doesn't matter. The one head is actually on. Uh, I will post in the, uh, in the well, I should have probably posted it already. But uh, I'll, I'll, you know, do all the torque specs for everything over here. So uh, what I am going to do is... Uh, I'm gonna continue over here. I'm actually gonna put the valve cover and valve cover gasket on and torque that down and then I'll move to the other side. So let's just keep it going.
so you guys see what it is uh where we're at here so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna flip this bad boy over and i'm gonna put the other head on off uh you know off camera because you don't really need to see me do it twice but valve cover gasket what i normally do is i usually put a little bit of uh gasket sealer this uh ultra gray permatex gasket sealer is uh my friend and i've never had any issues with it uh torquing down and leaking afterwards so i do have a little bit of uh you know cleanup i have to do I put a little bit too much but just watch uh, how much you put and uh yeah it'll seal just fine so uh let me get the other side done i'll be right back all right ladies and gentlemen folks so we are here both heads are on everything is torqued down now all we got to do is start putting the front end all back together all the uh, little plastics and such and then we can get the uh, cam gears on and then we can get all the new pulleys and uh, the timing belt put on if at all possible so that's that's the goal for this video is to try to get the timing and such all together so let's go I gotta show you something not really super proud of it but what you'll need is your torque wrench and the old timing belt if it's not completely destroyed this one is pretty bad but it'll still it'll still do to uh, torque down these cam cam bolts cam lock bolts or whatnot uh, there is a special tool that you can put in here that'll hold everything together I do not have that tool. Usually when I'm, I'm working, it's usually STIs. They have AVCS and I have the tool for that, but don't have the tool for this, but it's really not that crazy. These things don't get, uh, they don't get a lot of torque. So right off the jump, you don't really need to go super crazy, but you can hold this thing down like this and you can torque. It only uses 21 foot pounds of torque. So you can either hold it or you can go around like this like so like so yeah like i said not proud of it it is questionable but uh it, it does work it does work so i'm gonna do these real quick and uh, i'll get right back to you okay people so now it's time for the timing belt and this is one of the marks here mark here mark here this one is a little bit confusing because there's no uh there's no actual mark on the uh on the the head itself but you can see you just have to have it dead top center and oh excuse me and at the middle here you can see there is a timing mark here and just line it up with that mark there. So let's get this timing belt on. Do this bad boy right on camera. See if we can't get it the first try. Hopefully we can, hopefully. And we'll go from there. Always remember that uh, your timing belt does have a rotation. Uh, this one, the, uh, the marks are just forward and we're gonna make it so that we can read it. So out like that. So let's, let's go. Go, go, go.
took me uh, another like 15 minutes or so to get this bad boy kind of uh, timed up. But again, straight up here, straight up, well, mark here and then mark here. So just gotta remember that. The easiest way that I found to do it, it, it I know it's a little rudimentary. A uh, couple things that I do are actually rudimentary. But uh, I think there's somebody coming down my block that's got a Subaru. Nope, guess not. All right, so anyway, uh, what I normally do is uh, put these little like things like this, you know, these little spring clips here. Put it here, put it here, around anywhere, around here, or somewhere around there, so that the timing belt stays. Subarus are especially uh, known for slipping off and not being able to fit correctly. So uh, make, make sure that everything is timed correct here. So the easiest way I found to do it, keep this pulley off. This pulley is a uh, kind of like a 50-50, that you can keep it or you can leave it. Uh, it. It doesn't really matter. But you put the timing belt on, line all the marks up. Then you put this timing, uh, this, this, uh, this pulley on. And this pulley here is just to keep everything kind of under, from underneath. But uh, once you get everything timed, what you do is you want to make sure that you spin it at least four revolutions around so that you know that there's no binding and then at the very top at the very top here should be mark 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 so now that we got that done i feel really confident that the, everything is good here we'll put the uh the covers on and uh then we'll uh and we'll, we can keep it moving from there. So let's go. Right off the jump, I don't really like the way this looks. I need to clean all of this stuff up here. So uh, give me a minute. I'll uh, replace all the gaskets here because we do have brand new gaskets. And I'll clean up the front of this because it is just caked on. So give me one second, be right back. gentle folks so we are ready to go here uh this is where i'm gonna take the take a break here and uh probably recharge my batteries here get something to grub on and uh when i come back we'll try to get this bad boy all back together and in the car we still got a lot left to do but we are pushing forward to the end of this project but uh we're getting close, we're getting close. So uh, yeah, join me on the very next video. Like I said before, I will be going inside, relaxing for a little bit and then uh, recharging my batteries and uh, getting something to grub on. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment and subscribe. We will be putting this bad boy back in the car. Hopefully on the next video, well, no, on the next video, we will be putting this bad boy back in. And uh, hopefully, getting closer to the very end so again like i said like this video like comment subscribe i will see you guys on the next one deuces